before we start coding, let me just show you the form. Now this is an intermediate level project, so I assume you know how to make these forms, but I just want to show you what elements are on the forms and how I name them. So on the main form, I named it FRM reservations, and we have three text boxes. The first one is for the name of the passenger. It's just a simple text box. And the second and third one are masked text boxes. The first one holds the seed row. Remember there will be 10 rows, one through 10, and uh, each row will have four seeds, A, B, C, or D. So the first text box accepts the row. So since it's a number, I set the mask to be two digits. So when you click on the mask, you come over here, create a custom one, two pound signs, means that it will accept two digits. And the second one, this one is for the column of the seed, which is A, B, C, or D. I named it MTB seed col for seed column. And this one is masked as L. If, again, if you click on the mask, you can type the mask as capital letter L. This means that it accepts one letter or one character. So this will be our passenger information. And once it is entered, we can click the add passenger button and it will add the passenger to our list output. I'll name it LST output. This will be the seating chart that will simply show 10 rows and four seats in each row. And it will show which seat is taken and which seat is empty. So once we enter a passenger, that seat that is in these two text boxes will be marked as filled or as booked. The next button is delete passenger. And when this one is clicked, the second form opens and it will show the name of the passenger that the user enters here. So the user enters the passenger name, clicks delete passenger, and all the passengers with that name that is being searched will be shown into our lookup form. And from there, the user can select any of the names and that passenger will be deleted. The next one is show passengers. And when this button is clicked, the same form is open. And in the grid view, all the passengers will be listed. And all the passengers means that it will be the passengers that have booked seats as well as the ones that are on the waiting list. And of course, we have the quit button that ends the program. Now the second form, which I named as passenger lookup, this one has a grid view that I named DGV passengers, and it will display either the passengers that we want to delete, if we click the delete button, or all the passengers that we want to view, if we click the view passengers button. And it has a cancel button that cancels the operation. So if the user changes his mind, and doesn't want to delete any passenger, click the cancel button and the focus is returned back to the main form. So these are our two forms and now we are ready to start coding.